previously on Math Hands On with Python. Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Hands On with Python and today we are going to see how we can use nonlinear least square method for regression models. Basically, nonlinear least square method is uh, an optimization technique that can be used to build the regression models of which the data set shows nonlinearity. So nonlinearity in a model can be classified as nonlinearity in a parameter, nonlinearity in a predictors, or uh, other kind of which we can use nonlinear least square method to estimate the parameter or to fit the data in that model. So I will use uh, three kinds of uh, nonlinear models to illustrate this concept. So now let's check out the codes and the, its description. So if this is your first time to visit this channel, please uh, support the channel by subscribing and like the video so that uh, it can be recommended to many uh, people who are looking for the similar knowledge. So going back to our codes, the first block normally is the uh, lines of commands of which we import all necessary libraries uh, for our analysis. In the second block, we are going to load our data and the data I am going to use is the bike sharing data and uh, I will provide the link for this data set in the description below. Then after loading our data, uh, we split them into two sets, the training set and the, the test set. So in this block, we just split our data uh, for training and the test set. After that, the next block here, uh, we use the D matrices function to generate a design matrix suitable for our model. And then followed by a block of function, uh, this one, that basically it represents your model. So at this block function, you write your model, the nonlinear model of yours. So I will uh, use here uh, the examples that uh, I said. After this, it is followed by uh, computation of residuals. Then we provide the uh, initial values for our parameters. After providing initial values for our parameters, then here we solve for the uh, parameters that we are looking for for our nonlinear regression model using the least square function. Also, you can print the output of the parameters that are being estimated in this function using this command here. Uh, after that, uh, you can compute the predicted uh, values and the normally actual values are there in your data set. And then you plot all the graphs of predicted and actual values uh, using this code block here. So currently for the code we are having here in the uh, function block here, the function which is present here basically is the one of which uh, the model is nonlinear in parameter. So you can see here the parameter uh, they are nonlinear. Here is a code of uh, these uh, nonlinear parameters. And basically, this represents the right hand side of your uh, equation of regression. So, after that, then if we run this one, we will get the result for a nonlinear least square estimate for a nonlinear model in parameter. So, let's run this one and see the output. So here we have the output. So you can see the graph. We have both uh, predicted counts and the actual counts in the graph. Also below, we printed the uh, output for the intercept, beta one, beta two, beta three, and beta four. So uh, this is for example of which the model is nonlinear in parameter. Now the second model I'm going to show here is when you have uh, a nonlinear model of which the parameter are expressed in exponential or a linear combination in exponential form. So let's change 
uh, this code block by expressing our function as a linear combination uh, in exponential form. So now the betas here, they are just uh, linear. So let's uh, copy this and change this part here. And here, uh, as you can see in the equation, we are going to put this uh, into exponential, the linear combination of our variables. So we are done. So we can run this and see the output. So the output are there. You can see this is the graph uh, for the exponential form and its corresponding parameter estimation you can see here below. So this is what you can do for nonlinear regression model using nonlinear least square method. Uh, so you just use this uh, simple code block to estimate your parameter. So the third equation of which the nonlinearity is in, uh, uh, in the predictor, you can use the technique I explained or as presented in example one, and you can have your uh, estimate parameters. So this makes the end of our tutorial session for today. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Goodbye.